How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you all the debut of the Moments Extreme cards. I just recently unlocked the 98 overall Jim Edmonds, as well as the 98 overall Andrew Miller. I'm going to be using Jim Edmonds in right field. I also picked up Hanley Ramirez out of the Signature Series pack, so I'm going to be using him at third base. Andrew Miller will be the first one out of the bullpen. If not, I will be going with the Sergio Romo. He wasn't listed on that uh, last screenshot there, but I also picked him up through the event. I'll be using those two relievers in this game as well as Jim Edmonds and this is the first time that I've uploaded any content regarding uh, Oral Hershiser on the mound. So a couple of new debuts in this one, five to be exact, and uh, we're going to hop right into it. So basically uh, to start this game off, I hung a change up and Willie Mays deposits it to left field. That's going to be a no doubt home run. I didn't really have a chance to rob that one. Griffey could not really even get there, but we are down one run. And this opponent so far was hitting everything. I mean, he was fouling off pitches inside, outside, off the plate, low in the zone. And uh, he was able to hit pitches that were off the plate. So far, we're only through the first inning, just barely getting through the first. Oral Hershiser did give up that one run. I also threw a lot of pitches to start this game off. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to try and uh, uh, go to the bullpen early on anyway because I want to debut those those cards. But at the same time, we're already down a run and trying to bounce back. That was a good okay swing with Griffey, just slightly off the baseball. And I was slightly off of the baseball during the event as well when I was trying to get that Sergio Romo. That one actually got down with Willie Mays. I thought he was going to make that play crashing into the wall with Griffey in left field. But we do have uh, Jim Edmonds on deck. This is the first at bat with Hanley Ramirez. And he goes, he walks him there. A 3-0 count with the fourth ball away facing uh, Jack Morris. This card's pretty effective. We're playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. And I think that Jack Morris is pretty good on Hall of Fame or Legend if used correctly. I mean, you can use that changeup, that fourth ball, and the fastball. Just those three pitches alone will throw you off. As well as using that slider to keep the hitter off balance is definitely a good thing. He's very easy to control. I've used him a couple times, and he's very good, but in Jim Edmonds' debut at bat, I lined out to left field. I squared that one up. It uh, would have been nice for that one to get into the gap and cash in a couple runs there, tie the game up, but unfortunate we uh, we aren't able to do that, but Jim Edmonds is making the play in right field, so does have that diamond defense. That's important. I want to try and include all the plays to third base, right field. Those are the guys I'm debuting, Hanley Ramirez and Jim Edmonds, but Anyway, uh, this opponent so far, I mean, had a quicker inning in the second one. He wasn't hitting as many pitches. Uh, he was kind of aggressive in that one. He was taking a lot of pitches in the first inning, so that's important. I'm trying to get that pitch count back to where I want it to be. That way I don't have to take out Hershiser in the fourth inning or something like that, which I might go ahead and do so anyway, depending on if he comes up to the plate. But uh, we do have a chance right here to tie the game up. Roberto Alomar is up at the plate. Nobody out, and we have a guy on uh, second base. So we have uh, runners in scoring position, as well as uh, Mike Piazza on first base. And I was looking for a fastball inside. I just slightly missed that one. I jammed myself a little bit and hit it to center field. But after a couple walks later on in the inning, two down, we have Willie Mays up, and I thought I, I waited on that one long enough. I thought I squared it up, but that slider was indeed a little bit below the zone I swung on top of it and unfortunate but this opponent was was impressing me with how he was able to foul off so many pitches uh, above the zone away away from the hitter I mean that last one with Jackie Robinson was way outside he foul tips it and pulls it for an out in foul territory just some of the stuff that was happening in this game I was kind of a uh, confused but he was definitely able to hit and this guy also messaged me sent me a friend request and said that he's a big fan of the channel so I wanted to include that as well I figured that I was going up against somebody that I knew just because uh, of that friend request I got during this game so I just wanted to include that but I mean I was able to get a couple late hits as well so far in this game a couple hits to drop in the outfield some of the squared up balls ended up in uh, line outs and as well as some balls that I thought I squared up right away, I, I really didn't, and I grounded out or popped up uh, to the outfielder or the infielder. So I think that so far in this game, I definitely could have a run. Uh, I mean, it's a one nothing game. doesn't really seem like the ball's carrying all that much for either one of us. So far, Willie Mays has been the deciding factor of this game. We do have Rodgers Hornsby up, and he's going to uh, tie this game up and take the lead. All in one swing of the bat, a two-run shot. With Lou Gehrig on first base, that late hit was cashed in. So 
that's awesome to see that I was able to take advantage. But, I mean, some of these balls I was hitting well are just not going anywhere. That pitch may have been below the zone. Tough to tell there is probably borderline pitch. But uh, I squared it up and hit it right to Willie Mays in center. This opponent was once again hitting some pitches outside the zone. Thought he might have a chance to beat that one out, but it is Mike Piazza, 45 speed. Uh, Oral Hershiser so far is pitching well. He's got his pitch count back to where I want it to be. First play from Hanley Ramirez is uh, unsuccessful. He beats out that infield single with Hornsby. That was a cutter away as well. But we have Roberto Alomar up at the plate. Nobody out. He's leading off this inning and had an opportunity earlier in the game to cash in a couple of runs. I would have liked to hit that same result or that same ball uh, earlier in the game. Might have had a chance to get into the gap. But nonetheless, I was able to square a ball up a couple times and unsuccessful. But we do bring in uh, Sergio Romo because he does have a couple of guys that excel versus lefties up at the plate uh, coming up this inning. I was having a little bit of a tough time controlling Romo right away. As uh, I threw, I got down in the count 2-0. Oh, that pitch was going to be a ball as well to make it a 3-0 count, but Ozzie Smith hits it down the line. He brought in uh, Travis Hafner as a pinch hitter, and luckily that one wasn't sent out for a go-ahead home run. He just barely missed that one. I was going with the slide step fastball. I thought he might be trying to steal second base with Ozzie Smith there, trying to get in scoring position, trying to tie the game up. And uh, luckily I didn't give up a home run there as well. But we are facing Willie Mays, who has done some damage in this game already with the home run and he goes the other way with that one hits it down the line on a hit and run pitch and that's going to score a run he's going to get a double 92 speed is going to come around to score from ozzy smith now i'm just looking to get out of this inning so romo is pretty good but at the same time i was a little bit wild with him resulted in giving up a run uh the base hit from ozzy smith resulted in that hit and run base knock but uh Anyway, with Willie Mays, I felt like I had a very similar uh, output, a very similar hit right there as the opponent did. I was just off of it, and I wanted to kind of go in slow motion here. As you can see, I was just off of the baseball. Where the ball made contact of the bat, it did not deserve to be a home run, but I felt like right when I hit that ball that I felt like I really got that one and could have taken the lead there but anyway he does bring in Raleigh Fingers later in the game to face Jim Edmonds and I was struggling against I was struggling with these new cards right away in this video I mean I squared up a ball a couple balls with Jim Edmonds earlier in the game and unrewarded but nonetheless nothing doing in this video so far I'm looking to try and uh, knock a base hit with one of those new guys I haven't really got anything going with Hanley either he did draw a walk or two uh, up until this point as well but Rogers Hornsby is swinging at this low pitch this opponent was able to hit pitches like this though very early feedback he's able to foul some of these off luckily in this inning I was able to get through it with Romo definitely a solid card the first couple pitches I was having a tough time locating with him but after I was able to get used to his meter a little bit sometimes it takes me a little bit to get used to it and I was able to locate much better with him and he is very effective so Anyway, we are at a 2-2 game, about the same hits for each team, and uh, so far, I mean, both teams could have more runs in this game. So far, Willie Mays has been the difference for the opponent. I've been able to kind of hit a couple singles, seeing eye singles here and there, and score some runs. Not really any extra base hits from my end. The opponent has had more success with that. But I went ahead and brought in the Andrew Miller. I figured it's the seventh inning, a tie game. Let's try and get him the victory. And I'm going to go ahead and test this card out. He has a very good slider, a couple good fastballs, and a changeup. So I went with a, a good slider there, perfect input, blinking good, and hit the hoop and everything. He fouls it off low and away, figured I would go right back to it. He gets a check swing on another slider low that, that he swung at immediately as soon as I released the ball. Went with the changeup low, and he's able to hit that one below the zone. So I was not able to strike this dude out. There was really no way for me to get him out at, at this point basically uh, I'm trying to give you guys as many examples as possible here's a couple of very early foul tips on a 0-2 count I really need this out at this point in the game and when that happens I really have no idea what to do I mean perfect pitches good good that one wasn't right there but he is going to be able to smack it for a hit after multiple 0-2 pitches that I threw uh, perfectly with good input off the plate he is able to foul them off so now I'm in a tough situation finally get a strike out there I have no idea what the difference was between the slider with Ozzie Smith against Brooks Robinson Brooks Robinson has just as high vision 
uh, and a little bit lower contact or right around the same, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't really know sometimes. I'm going with the fastball up and away, and that was above the zone, and that's going to be a grand slam. So we're not looking good in this game at all at this point. I fast-forwarded a little bit. I had a couple frustrating at-bats because, as you can see, I'm hitting the ball. Some, sometimes I'm squaring it up. Sometimes I'm not. But I haven't really got rewarded in this way. This opponent was uh, fouling some pitches off that I felt like I could have struck him out three times in one at-bat. Then he hits a, a grand slam on a pitch up and above the zone. It's just extremely tough to play this game sometimes. I mean, sometimes the game can go this way. And uh, just, just like that, you hit into a double play and you end up losing the game. But the opponent was definitely a good player. He deserved to win the game. I just would have would have liked to see us both get rewarded more in situations but i singly handedly got beat by willie mays in that last game he was like three for four with six rbis and i ended up losing that last game six to two so thank you guys so much for watching this video that is the jim edmonds debut as well as andrew miller sergio romo oral hershiser and hanley ramirez but once again guys peace out i will have some other videos uploaded later today and uh yeah peace